Rated M for mature. Magical. Epic. Powerful. Is that right? When Gears of War launched in 2006, the squad-based cover shooter was an instant hit around the world and triumphantly announced that the next generation of gaming was here. Gears of War wowed gamers with over-the-top action and brutal combat. But what really resonated was the emotional journey, and it kept fans coming back for more. I love Gears of War so much because of what it represents. It was the right game at the right time. Kind of changed the way people saw combat. Before, it was all about reaching into the distance with a sniping rifle, and Gears brought it right up to your face and made it personal. Having the combination of a really strong narrative direction with really strong characters and weapons that are just damn fun to use. You gotta have guns with chainsaws, come on. The most gratifying kills would be when you get the headshot right and you just hear the I want to kill them all. After a decade of domination, the Gears of War series is back with a new game for a new generation and they're ready to remind the world once again to never fight alone. The stage was set with a trailer that showed why Gears of War was not your average video game. The Mad World commercial was an instant classic and changed our perception of what the medium was capable of. I actually remember the very first time I saw that trailer, my mouth fell through the floor. Every single Gears of War trailer has given me goosebumps. The emotion and the color and the depth of that trailer was just really, really moving. There was something about the combination of these broken men in these broken environments with this broken song that just made sense. The launch of Gears of War changed everything. It ushered in a new era of gaming and drove sales of the Xbox 360 through the roof. At the time when it first came out in 2006, it was something that sort of represented the sort of high definition era. Before Gears, shooters had mainly been first person shooters. Really what Gears brought was how to do third person right. You know, there was a game called Kill Switch before us that was really sort of the first time I felt like I played a game where you would actually approach an environment the way you would in real life. Gears really took it to the next level. Gears of War is credited for a variety of gameplay innovations. First and foremost, setting the gold standard for third-person cover-based shooters. It isn't just about sideways movement and forward and backwards, it was about how do you get into cover and out of cover, and, and Gears perfected it. It rippled throughout the entire industry. All of a sudden, like, almost every review of every video game after Gears of War had some reference to Gears of War. With Gears 2, they brought out something called Horde Mode. Horde Mode in Gears of War is probably one of the first online experience I've ever had where I was forced to play as part of a team. And Horde really defined the co-op uh, survival genre. The waves and the way that they were planned out and the way that you could learn them, I think made it really, really addictive. It always presented a challenge that you knew that you could overcome. Mom? In Gears of War, story is king. Mom! And the action, well, let's just say it's intense. There are characters dealing with struggles that we never could have imagined. The entire race was almost extinct. Basically, all of human life was almost wiped out, but people still had a fight in them, and that was inspirational on its own. It's the journey that matters, and that's what makes Gears magical. I'm not really sure that there's few characters um, you know, more iconic than, than Marcus Phoenix. That whole idea of Brothers to the End cemented together the idea of Delta Squad. It brings it down to that, you know, you know, who do you want in a foxhole with you? I think, you know, with Marcus Phoenix, we always joke around about those iconic things that he says. If you want to go in guns blazing, I don't blame you. It's very, very special stuff. In the pantheon of fandom, the Gears community has its place amongst the elite. Gears fans take it to a whole other level. It's a 60-year-old guy who really loves the game. And here's the college student, and here's the military guy. Passion, almost in the, what I would think of as the, the true essence of that word, really comes through when you talk to Gears of War fans. The Gears of War trilogy is a high watermark in gaming, but history has proved that success is hard to duplicate.
It's really interesting when we came to Ford because we were talking about like where would we go with Ford. Time to introduce the new cog to the old cog. Rod Ferguson and his team at the Coalition, a group of industry veterans dedicated solely to Gears, are up for the challenge with the release of Gears of War 4. What if we started with a new cast, but that would have ties back to the original cast? The journey that we've had from Gears of War 1 to Gears of War 4 and now introducing JD and Marcus and that relationship is, it's just constantly giving fans something to care about. It's an incredibly important uh, title for Microsoft and for the Xbox franchise. And I feel like nobody forgot that. With its iconic characters, breathtaking gameplay, heart-wrenching story, and quotable one-liners. Never ends. The Gears of War series stands apart. For many, picking up a Lancer and heading into battle has become a way of life. It's a saga that raises the pulse and touches the soul. And in a mad world that can sometimes feel overwhelming, always trust in these three words. Never fight alone. Get the Ultimate Edition and play four days early.